In this lesson, we're going to look at how to multiply radicals. Now remember, radicals are things that have like a square root or a cube root or a fifth root, a fourth root, whatever. But in this lesson, we're going to learn how to multiply them. So, and, and just to let you know, we're going to be doing examples that have numbers. And then we'll also do examples that have letters or variables. So let's begin. When you multiply square root 10 by 4, you can't multiply the 10 and the 4 together because this 10 is locked inside the square root. So what you can do is just put the 4 in the front. So that's just going to give you 4 square root 10. Now, when you multiply two square roots together, what you do is you just make a square root and then you just multiply the two numbers together inside the square root. So that would be square root of 20. So you're going to go square root 20. And now we need to simplify. So you know like in one of the previous lessons I showed you how to simplify radicals? Well, what you do is, because these are square roots, we look at all the square numbers. So 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25. I don't think we're going to have to go further than that. So can you take the number 10 and use any of these numbers well, you can't, right? 10 can only be written as 2 times 5, but that's not any of these. What about the square root of 20? Well, that's a nice one because that can be rewritten as 4 multiplied by 5. So we'll do that in the next step. 4 multiplied by 5. Now, going into the next step, we know that the square root of 4 is 2. So we can rewrite this now as 2 and then square root 5. And that is the most simplified we would ever be able to get this question. Here's our next example. So remember that when you multiply two square roots, you can just make one big square root and then just multiply them together, which if you want, you can just write that as 18. Then when you multiply a square root and a number, you cannot combine the 3 and the 2 together because the 3 is almost locked away inside that square root. So what you can rather do is that. Now, let's use our square root numbers, or square numbers, so 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9. So what we could do is we could rewrite the number 18 as 2 times 9. And we know the square root of 9 is 3. So we can put that in the front, like that, and then we left with that. Now you could not go any further, and so that is your most simplified answer. Here's our next example. So this one's quite interesting. So you're going to multiply this with this. So the 3 and the 4 can make a 12, so it would be negative 12. And then the square root 3 and the square root 6 would be square root 18. Now I'm going to multiply this over to the 4. So the 4 and this negative 3 would make negative 12. And then on the inside, you'd just be left with square root 3. Now, this could be simplified a little bit further because we know that that could be written as 9 times 2. And we can't do anything with the 3. Okay, so we know the square root of 9 is 3. So we can let that go to the front over there. And then on the inside, we just have a 2. And then there we have that. Okay, now 12 times 3 is 36. And so there would be our final answer. We cannot simplify any further. So here's an example that has letters in them. So remember, if you multiply a normal number with a square root, you cannot combine the number inside the square root with that number because, as we said, the square root almost locks it away. So what we'll rather do is just put the 4 in the front like that. Now we're going to multiply these two together. So what we said was that you just make a big square root and you just multiply the two things together like that. And so let's simplify. So that's going to give us 25 x squared. Now, the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of x squared is x. Because remember that there is actually a 2 over here, and if you use the exponent rules, it's always the inside exponent divided by that exponent or that number, and so that'll just be x to the power of 1. So we can say minus 4 square root of 5x, which we can't do anything with. And then take away, now the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of x squared is x, and so that would be our final answer. We can't go any further. We have two more examples. So with this one, you cannot do anything because it's a number and a square root. 
you just leave it like that. This two, you're just gonna leave it in the front, and then you're gonna multiply these two, and that's just gonna be square root of 12. But now square root 12, you could simplify, because we know the square numbers are one times one is one, two times two is four, three times three is nine, so we could definitely use a four. The way that you would do that, and by the way, the number six, you could write it as two times three, but that doesn't help, because none of those are square numbers. So we're gonna rewrite the 12 as four times three, and so that's gonna give us this. Um, now the square root of four is two, so we're gonna bring it out to the front and join this two that was already there. There we go, and so now we end up with that plus that. And then you can't go any further. Here's our last example. So remember, when you multiply two square roots, you can just make one square root symbol and then just multiply them together inside the square root. So that'll be 150V. And then when you multiply this and this, you cannot do anything. So you're just gonna write it as 3V, whoops, 3V, and then square root of um, 15V. Now, let's just check if we could rewrite. Of course, you could write that as five times three, but that's useless um, because you, oh, we should actually start over here first. So we look at our square number. So one times one is one, two times two is four, three times two is nine, 16, 25. Uh, I think we could use 25. Six times six is 36, seven times is 49, 64, which is eight times eight, and then nine times nine is 81. So I think we could use the 150 as 25. Ah, 25 multiplied by six. And then you're just gonna have a V. And then we can say plus three V. Now 15, you could never write it as any of these, so we'll just leave that as 15. Okay, and so the square root of 25 is five. And then on the inside, you're just left with six V. And then you're just left with 15 V. And you wouldn't be able to do anything further.